and I am the mother of two beautiful little boys, the oldest of whom is on the autism spectrum. Charlie is about eight and a half now and he was a little over three when he was diagnosed. So um, as a family, our journey with autism, at least from the point of diagnosis, has now been going for about five and a half to six years. Charlie's a fantastic kid and a joy to have. He's a smart kid who he attends a mainstream school with um, supported by an aide to level the playing field for him. He uh, is cheeky. He's very good at negotiating for what he needs and wants within the family. What are we having for dinner? Today? Yes. We're having, well, you're having salmon pasta. Tomorrow. Tomorrow you're having chicken schnitzels. Or have we having for dinner on Thursday? You're having lamb. Cutlet. No. For dinner on Friday. I like lamb cutlet. Lamb cutlets on Friday? No, thank you. And then what would you like to have on Friday? <laughs> I like... On Friday, what would you pizzas. like to Pizzas. Pizzas? Would you like to make your own pizza? Yes. Oh, good. Okay. We'll make pizzas on Friday. Does that sound like good fun? Yes, me. Put you to bed on Thursday. No, I'll put you to bed when it's time for bed. He's acutely aware of everything that goes on around him even though sometimes that might not always be apparent to people who don't know him so well because the nature of his social impairment makes it very difficult for him to engage with people that he doesn't know so well. But with his family, he's close and loving and affectionate and very bonded, which is just wonderful. Charlie is a Lego expert and I thought I might show you what he's been building since Christmas this year. That's the Lego Tower Bridge for those who don't know and Charlie completed it in about five days with no uh, supervision or assistance. He was really proud of himself and I think rightly so. As a parent, the journey with autism uh, has its ups and downs of course and uh, I thought in that context I might share something with you that Charlie made for me. Last year he made a Valentine's Day card for me so he was about seven and just the first line of it goes as follows. Dear Mum, thank you for having me. Now, as parents, we all treasure the things our children make for us. Uh, but I think that I treasure that one line in that one Valentine's Day card, possibly above all else, because it serves as a constant reminder to me when there are bumps in the road that actually this is the only way of being Charlie knows. This is who he is. This is the only way he knows of seeing the world. And he's happy to be alive. If only we could all be so happy and so lucky. One of the things that um, has struck me in the course of uh, making these little films about my son is that really I'm speaking for him. And I thought one good way of helping him or letting him speak for himself would be to read you something that he wrote recently. This is an essay that he wrote when he was um, maybe six years old, so towards the beginning of year one when creative writing was really starting to become something that he enjoyed doing and was able to use as a good means of expression. And it's about shapes. I like shapes. Shapes make me better. The octahedron makes me better. Lots of shapes make me better. They are 3D shapes instead of 2D shapes. They make shapes in the shape room. There are lots of shapes. I need shapes to feel better. I like looking at the shape wall. Shapes are better. Shapes have power. Dodecahedron is better. That's the end of the essay and it really packs so much in that is revealing about Charlie and the way he sees the world. It's a written expression of something that he'd been fascinated by from a very early age. He's always been really interested in shapes of all kinds, two-dimensional and three-dimensional, but to have it revealed in his writing that he sees a, a special kind of power in shapes and that that power has something to do with soothing him and making him feel more better and more comfortable in some way is just wonderful insight to have for a parent struggling to see the magical beauty in the world that is seen through the eyes of a child with autism.